it's reported that Alonzo Highsmith went into a story about exactly why they didn't draft Josh Rosen. Highsmith said, quote, via the Canton Repository, quote, I was at an airport. UCLA's volleyball team was in front of me. Okay, sound note, Josh Rosen at UCLA at this point. So Alonzo Highsmith at an airport. UCLA's volleyball team was in front of him at the airport. Quote, you heard so much about Rosen. He's this or that. We all know how people talk. Okay, so these are classmates of Josh Rosen. They're talking about Josh Rosen. Alonzo Heisman happens to be in the front office of the Browns overhearing some of this. He even says, we all know how people talk. This is a women's volleyball team on campus of the school that Josh Rosen's at. Highsmith says, so I asked one of the volleyball coaches, what's Rosen like? He said, okay, I'm just going to stop the story here. Why Alonzo Highsmith is telling a story about private conversations, even if this had to do with Josh Rosen or Baker Mayfield or someone that they took is ridiculous, but especially, hey, I spoke to one of the coaches at an airport of one of the prospects. Don't talk about this. This is what the volleyball coach says, according to Alonzo Highsmith. Uh, you should probably ask his girlfriend. She's one of the players. She's over there. Oh, okay. So now we have the background that Alonzo Highsmith is looking for information from a team of female athletes in front of him at an airport that includes one of Josh Rosen's ex-girlfriends or current girlfriends, what have you. Highsmith said, all right, coach, that's good enough for me. I don't know what all this means, but there was something about him that bothered me. What? 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 Think about that. Alonzo Highsmith made a decision on Josh Rosen because the coach of a volleyball team that had one of Josh's girlfriends or ex-girlfriends playing on it, said, better ask her. And at that point, Alonzo Heisman didn't ask her. Just said, ah, you know what? Okay, I got it. And this is how the Browns executive, I'm not saying that Alonzo Heisman's decision was, we can't take this kid. And then John Dorsey says, okay, that's good enough for me. But here is one of the decision makers in the front office. A, making a decision on a franchise quarterback based on talking to a volleyball coach in an airport who says you better talk to his girlfriend, and then that's it. Alonzo doesn't and says, ah, you know what? I don't need to. That's enough for me. Number two, tells the story. Number one, the executive of the Browns uses this as a reason not to like a prospect. Number two, tells the story. What? Every time I want to believe the Browns have turned the page, every time I want to believe they hired the right guy, every time I want to believe it can't keep going on this bad forever, they do something like this. What is the benefit for Alonzo Highsmith telling this story? Number two, would you ever trust an executive that used this as his reason and then generally just said there was something about him that bothered me? Would you like to expound on that? You know, because it's the number one pick in the draft. I'm telling you, every time I want to believe that the Browns have turned the page, turned the corner, it can't keep being this bad, they go ahead and do something that makes me just go, are you kidding? Like, who? Not. What? Hey! 